2023, Avermedia released the first capture card with a 2.1 HDMI, which is allow you to play your favorite game in 4K 120 FPS with a VR voice capture at the same time. This is only possible if you have a monitor or TV with a 2.1 HDMI capability and a 2.1 HDMI capture card. But only two cards right now while I'm recording this video that is capable of giving you the best experience while playing your PS5 and Xbox Series S capture at the same time. So in today's video, we're going to compare the Avermedia Live Gamer Ultra 2.1 external capture card and the Elgato 4K X. And at the end of this video, I will share my opinion of who those cards are for, which you should choose in my experience with one of those cards. Hi, welcome to another video. My name is Rodrigo and thank you so much for watching. If you are new here, we make videos and reviews and streaming tech related tutorials as well. And if this video helps you or any one of our videos, please don't forget to subscribe, like and click on the bell so you receive notifications about new content coming out. We're going to start by comparing both devices physically. As you can see, Elgato has a very minimalist design, all black with all ports on the back and the other media life gaming ultra point one is more flashy with the rgb light on the front which it can be customized on the software on the pc or works well with asus aura if you have that on your pc as well currently you can get this device in gray and white for the other media card and only black for the elgato now there's differences in the aux ports on both cards the Avermedia Life Gamer Ultra 2.1 has two 3.5mm jack, one is a headset audio input and output, and the other is a gamepad audio input and output. Now the Elgat 4K X does have one analog audio light in jack, so you can use another accessory like the chat link from the Elgato to be able to stream and record PS5, PS4 or Nintendo Switch voice in gameplay audio. Both cards also have a different prices. The Elgato is going for $229.99, while the Yaver Media is going for $269 US dollars. The lowest price I found on Amazon, but it was originally released at $299. Now let's take a look on what is the pass-through capability for those both cards. We have the Live Gamer Ultra 2.1 Max pass-through resolution up to 4K 144. We all the resolution on the screen, support HDR, VR, while the Elgato 4K X Max pass through resolution, also 4K 144, and all the resolution also on the screen, the support as well HDR and VR. The support resolutions both support the same from 480i to 4K, and now the capture specs between both is on the screen as well between Avermedia Live Gamer Ultra 2.1 and the Elgato 4K X captures up to all those captures resolutions on the screen as well. Now the software side of those two cards are very different. From start, Avermedia Live Gamer Ultra 2.1 card has an Avermedia game utility software. It's a very simple software where you can see what is being captured and what audio is being used. And it's very easy to check updates on the hardware side and software as well. Also have a RGB light settings that you can, can that you can disable and enable. If you don't like, you can customize with another software like Asus Aura if you have it. But moving to the Elgat software, we have the 4K capture utility, which by the way, to download, the link is also in the description below for this and the other media as well. The software does provide the same features as the Live Gamer Ultra 2.1, but also has more settings for recording and is a nice way to organize your videos recording if you record a lot. Now, should you upgrade to those capture cards? The answer to these questions is yes and no. If you only use a capture card on a dual PC, I think this may not be necessary. 
The Elgato HD 60X is still a great car for that, but I think if you have a current a console on the current generation and you wanted to play and capture without being compromised on the performance or quality, this is an amazing car for it. Being able to play a 4K 100fps and capture up to 4K 144fps HDR and VRR is truly amazing if you need it. So in my personal experience and about the Life Gamer Ultra 2.1 as soon as they release. The reason, well, I played in stream on PS5 for some games and even though I have a monitor 4K 144 with a 2.1 HDMI, I still not able to utilize my console and full potential because my older capture card was only allows me to play at 4K 60. So with this new card, I was able to play games at 4K 120 with the VRR, which it did make a huge difference while streaming since personally, I play the games mostly when I stream it due a lack of time. So for me, it was a huge upgrade. I have been using it for streaming with uh, Life Gamer Ultra 2.1 for about four months now, and it works amazingly. I also noticed a better quality in my gaming capture while stream as well. So if you are in a similar situation, you cannot go wrong with any of those cards. So I hope this video helps you decide to either buy or upgrade. And that also helps you make a smart decision to upgrade your stream setup. If you'd like to check out my dual stream PC setup, click right here. And for more tech reviews, also click right up here. And I'll see you on the next video.